Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. You've seen him here plenty of times, but our favorite movie critic is back to give us a heads up on the hitting the theater. So please welcome Zilla Valentine back to the circle. And now, Zilla. What's up? You just held a couple of movie parties. Yes, yes, So yes. tell us about your latest one. Uh, we just did one for It too. The Zilla movie party is the premiere movie going uh, thing in the world. All right. I go to a lot of movie premieres and I never ever get to talk about it because you see the movie three, four weeks before it comes out and you'd be like, is this this scene? And many people are like, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't seen it yet. So I decided to get my friends to come and see it. So it's a really exclusive ticket. You got to be somebody in order to come there. Uh, you got to know somebody who knows someone. But if you get in, it's a I great mean, time. I, I knew a couple of people. I wasn't invited. To I sent it directly you, you to you. put me on the program. I sent it directly to your text message and you didn't get back to me. I wasn't going to mention it. I I was just like, okay, maybe she was busy being, you know, famous. Oh. Oh. So let's talk about um, It <laughs> Chapter 2. <laughs> yeah. So how was that one? Uh, it Chapter 2 was so great. Uh, Isaiah Mustafa, who's the Old Spice guy, mm -hmm. uh, he is phenomenal in this movie. He steals the show. One thing, though, like, also, if you saw the first It, all the kids leave Derry. They leave and they go about mm -hmm. their lives. But, Is but Isaiah Mike, he stays in town. Like, he's the only one That's who it, didn't yeah. leave the hood. And he get Kriegel really, really crazy, and his parents were crackheads, and they started talking about that. But the movie's great because Pennywise does all this evil, manipulative stuff, and he is so sick and twisted in this this one. It's just so great. He does his drool thing. Ooh. He just slobbers. Ooh. It's so nasty. Okay, but they say this is the last one. So did they leave any room for there to maybe be another one coming out later? I mean, they killed Freddy Krueger 40 times. You they, understand what I'm yeah. saying? So is there a chance that they might try to slide another one in there? I think when it does $200 million or $300 million, they're going to do it three, it again. Yeah, it see, that's, again. That, see, that's how I feel about it. You're going to do it again. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's talk about Angel Has Fallen. Is it yes. worth going to see? Angel Has Fallen is it worth going to see. I like Mike Bannon and Gerard mm -hmm. Butler's movies, uh, so they're good. Is it a great film? No. Will you be entertained and be sitting in the theater like, yes, no, no, no? Yes, you will. Yeah. And Morgan Freeman's in it. Yes. When the voice of God, and they got Morgan Freeman running. Yes. Which he like a hundred, so. See, I, I, I saw this movie. I thought it was pretty good, but I think that there were some things that were left out. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, 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 look, it's entertaining. Yeah. There are some holes in it. A lot of stuff don't make sense. Yes. But it's kind of like Fast and Furious. It's like, oh, we could fly now? That's cool. Like, you know, it's just one of those type of things. Yeah. And Gerard Butler, he, he can't act, but Nick Nolte, you can barely understand him, but it still all works. I liked seeing Nick Nolte again. Yeah, it was good. It was good to see him back in the theater. I didn't know what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> 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 If you don't understand the word he said. I love Nick Nolte, though. He's super cool. But He's super cool. Yeah. Okay, so last week we had David Oyelowo, mm -hmm. and he was talking about Don't Let Go. Yes. The thriller yes. about family. Yes. So what did you think about that one? I thought Don't Let Go was super cool. Like, I love Blumhouse. Blumhouse movies are great. Mm -hmm. I love Storm Reed. I love David Oyelowo. Look, even if you don't like what happens in a movie, David Oyelowo is so good at acting, yes. it'll be uh, worth it. He's, he's so one of the amazing. best actors we have. In the, like, he's top ten, in my opinion. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And I'm going to tell you, he, he caught me with the butler. Mm, yeah. he, had, he had me at hello with that yeah. one. I was like, hey, hello, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just playing, but I'm just playing. Yeah. Okay, so this seems like it's just like really time for horror movies right now. Yes, yes. And yet another one, ready or not, I have to be honest, I'm not here for it. Yeah. But tell me what your opinion is. Ready or not. Uh, Dumb. I mean, uh, what it, do you think? It looked, so this looks really bad. Like, they got the Margot Robbie uh, replacement. Uh, she looks just like Margot Robbie, but that's not Margot Robbie. But they do got the white dude from Think Like a Man in here, Adam Brody, who's really, really good. Funny. Look, it looks like one of those things you have to see at a theater, a black theater with a bunch of people who's going to yell at the screen. I don't know if black people are going to go there, but I if don't. you had that environment, it'll be really, really dope. I, I don't, I, I, it gives me that So I Married an Axe Murderer kind yeah. of vibe. It's like Clue it's, meets The Purge. It's, uh, I don't think it's, I think it's one of those movies you need to wait and see at home yeah, when there's a, nothing left on HBO. It's a Showtime movie. you go through movie. all of your movies and say, mm -hmm. oh, okay, this is on, okay, I guess I'll watch it, get some popcorn. And then, then you fall asleep and never watch it again. That's yeah. how it is. Yeah, it yeah, doesn't seem like it's a good yeah. one. I don't think I'd waste my money. I wouldn't waste my money on that I, I get my movies, you know, I can see three of them a week. Oh, Only twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah, the AMC thing. Oh, yeah, okay, the that's 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 Yes, I do. I watch three movies a week. Yeah, I got that kind of time. Okay. Let me tell you what else I'm here for. What you here for? What I'm ready for. What you ready for? Black Panther 2. Black Panther 2. Oh, it's going to be so good. So 
where Disney messed up, Disney didn't lock in Ryan Coogler right away. So that's one of the reasons why it's coming in 2022. Because oh. they didn't lock in Ryan Coogler until about it, almost the end of the year. Ryan was like, oh, give me that bag. Give me that bag. So now he's just starting to write it. I think he's almost done. He literally handed in the treatment a couple days ago. And 2022 is coming. We're going to see some new characters. I am hoping that it's taking so long because you know... I don't know if you guys noticed in the comics, he's married to Storm. So I'm thinking by 2022, the X-Men will be in the di MCU and we'll sort of get some Storm. It ain't going to be Holly Berry, It has though. to be the right Storm. Yeah, it has it ain't to be, be the right Storm. It ain't going to be Holly Berry. It's gonna well, be... she wasn't the right Storm either. <laughs> but, I mean, she, she's a good actress, but she she's wasn't a good, a good Storm. Okay, yeah. No, I did, no yeah, personal okay. opinion. Okay, you know. I get it. I get it. Well, Last it, week it was me, this week it's her. Like, she's well, like going, I'm well, So keeping it real, you know? Yeah. People want to hear the real real. Also, oh, any honorable mentions? Uh, yo, you guys mentioned Dave Chappelle earlier today. Mm -hmm. uh, his Netflix special, which he filmed here in Atlanta, is on Netflix right now. It's called Sticks and Stones. It's pretty funny. It's dark. He's trying his best to get canceled, but it's Dave Chappelle, and, you know, he's doing good stuff. Oh. Okay, we only have about 10 more seconds. What about Overcomers? Overcomers. It looks so good. I mm -hmm. love these face space movies. I think the young lady who plays the lead character is going to be a super big star, so I'm looking forward yes. to seeing that. And it, it, did, it overperformed. It did, like, 10 million at the box office. Oh, so amazing. It's good to go see. It's yeah. good to see. Oh, I'm, I'm just glad that you are here with us and giving us the real, real. Absolutely. On the reels. Hello. <laughs> so thank you, Zilla, for coming and hanging out with us. Keep up with all of Zilla's critiques and who he's interviewing by following him on Instagram at blogzilla.